All right. Y'all like my new hairdo. So, nonetheless, it is story time. I want to tell you guys about a story that happened tonight with me and my daughter. So, of course, this is around the holidays, and we are... I'm sorry, guys, I'm not in the office today. I'm in my bedroom. So, um... But I just got home and I couldn't wait to get home and record the story. So I was invited out to a networking um, event for the elite. And we, my daughter and I, we rolled up with our G-Wagon and, you know, our security. And so, of course, I all eyes were on us. And so... Of course, when we got in the room, everyone was very welcoming and inviting, with the exception of the host. And, you know, she basically wanted to know why was my daughter there? You know, my daughter is only 16 years old, but mom wanted to introduce her to the world of networking and marketing and that sort of thing. So I brought her along with me. And so... As we went around the room and we did our elevator speech and of course she got to my daughter and my daughter, she said, well, uh, what is your name? And my daughter said, well, it's Keone. And she said, okay, Keone. And my daughter politely, and, that, and that's when I raised up. I was like, oh my God, she's calling her Keone. But then my daughter politely corrected her. She said, oh no, it's, it's Keone. And so she said, okay, well, Keone, well, what do you do? And um, Keone said, well, I, I'm a programmer and I um, I uh, build robots. And she's like, oh. And she went on further to, I guess, try to figure out if my daughter really did what she said she did because, she, you know, she she's very young still. But I have done what I needed to do. Um, and... And as far as getting her equipped to what is going to be in, in the future, what is going to be pretty promising in the future, and that is coding and building robots. Now, her dad had, um, you know, a whole lot to do with that as well. Um, I hate to give him credit, but he does. So, but unfortunately, she was picking on the wrong child. And so my daughter went on to say, well... Uh, first of all, you know, programming is a whole different language. You know, it's it's a language of, you know, um, coding and programming. And she went into these codes. And, and so the host was like, oh, okay. And then, of course, she, she got around to me. And then she goes, okay, well, tell Madge, what, and what do you do? And I go, well, of course, I'm a financial broker. I help build corporate credit. I help build um, business credit. I help incorporate. And we get loans, lines of credit, merchant account, vehicle financing for all small businesses. So if you're in need of some money, sweetheart, come my way. And of course, she knew not to kind of, you know, go in with me because, you know, um, you know, I get the money. And so we went on and, you know, we, we enjoyed our stay. But the moral to this story is sometimes you're not going to be welcome at everyone's table. You just have to have the intelligence to still stand at the table. Okay. And had I got outside myself and tried to, you know, step in for my daughter, which my daughter, you know, explained what she do very well. Um, she's a loving human being and she's never disrespectful to anyone. Even if someone is trying to be mean and rude to her, she's, she's not going to give you that back unless you're just outright blatantly rude and disrespectful because she's been taught better. And the moral to this story is guys, you know, not everyone wants us at the table, but when we do get to the table, we need to know how to represent us. And if we represent us well, then guess what? 
I literally got a million calls after we left dinner. Okay, when are you available? I'd love to sit down and talk to you. I have deals for you. And this woman basically, she pulled the intelligence out of my daughter and myself because we're refined. We know how to pose ourselves. We know how to respond. We know how to communicate. And so therefore she wasn't thinking that. She figured she'd dig into me and dig into my daughter and you know, we would be like empty shells, but no, sweetheart, we are far from hollow, very intelligent, very intellectual, very stimulated, and we do our due diligence and we do our research. So guys, um, at the end of the day, the whole goal is for us to continue growing as people and continue supporting one another. We build each other up when one is pulling us down. And I'm so appreciative to everyone at the table because no one at the table was my skin tone. When I say there was money in the room, there was money in the room, okay? And so I just appreciate the fact that no one was like the host. Everyone was inviting, everyone was respectful. And I got, like I said, quite a few calls afterwards inviting in, invites to different events and things of that nature because I am a lady you know and a businesswoman at the end of the day look me up million dollar corporations billion dollar corporations I own both those 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 domains okay and if you're seeking funding you're seeking short-term loan uh, term loans merchant advances, equipment financing, I'm your financial specialist. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for uh, listening to my story because I just had to get this one off my chest. It's funny, but I had to talk about it um, and just bask in, you know, my daughter representing herself as she did. You know, y'all be careful messing with these coders and these 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 robot programmers, because guess what? My daughter be in her in her room at the middle of the night tomorrow, some do 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 programming a robot to to go blow your house up. <laughs> no, not really, but you know, uh, you know these programmers are are way advanced. So, you know, respect them; they are our future. Again, if you guys are looking for funding, um, loans, cash advances, vehicle financing reach out to me at milliondollarcorporations.com or billiondollarcorporations.com. You can upload your applications. We'll take a look at those applications and we will we will reach out to you. Um, if you have questions or concerns, please reach out to us and book a consultation. We'll be more than happy to um, consult you on incorporating, building your business credit, um, submitting your application for your loan, whatever services you need financially from us we are your business broker thank you so much for sharing subscribing and tuning into the channel until next time guys happy holidays and we'll be with you soon take care